Shalom, this is the 15th video on Sefer Vayikra, where we examine Machlokas Rishonim between uh, different Rishonim on various Pesukim. Today we'll be looking at Parak Chaf Aleph, Pasuk Chaf Dalad in Sedras Emor. And the Pasuk reads as follows, V'edeber Moshe al-Aaron v'al-Banav v'al-Kol B'nei Yisrael. And Moshe spoke to Aaron and to his sons and to all of B'nei Yisrael. Seems like just an introductory Pasuk, but in fact it's a little odd because it says that Moshe spoke to Aaron, to Aaron's children, and to all B'nai Yisrael. Um, if it, Moshe had just wanted to speak to Aaron, then it would just would have said Aaron and left out his children. But if it had just said B'nai Yisrael, then we would have assumed that Aaron and his children would have been included. So why does it refer to all of this? And this actually is a point of debate between Rashi and the Chizkuni. So let's look at Rashi first. We're on Pasuk Chav Dalet. Dibri Hamaschil Vayidaber Moshe. We'll be looking at all of Rashi on this Pasuk. It's not that much. Vayidaber Moshe HaMitzvah Hazos. Right? They're talking about this mitzvah Moshe spoke, was speaking about. El Aaron Valbana Vakol Bnei Yisrael Lahazir based in Ala Kohanim. Meaning as follows. So when it says to talk to all Bnei Yisrael, it's referring to the based in, to the courts of the Sanhedrin, warning them about the Kohanim. Meaning that a blemished Kohen can't give a korban. So whose responsibility is that? Says Rashi, it is the the based in it is the court's responsibility to make sure that no uh, korbanos are given by Kohanim. Okay, let's look at the Cheskuni on Pasuk of Talat. It says, "Vel Direi Masel Vel Kol Bnei Yisrael." Says the Cheskuni, "Shloim Su Korbanosayim Labali Mumim," that their korbanos should not be given to anybody with a blemish, meaning that it's not up to based in, but actually this refers to the responsibility of. The actual, the actual people, that the people themselves shouldn't give any korbanos to a blemish kohen, meaning that if a person was going to give their korban to a kohen to, to put on the mizbeach, and he sees that the kohen has one of the 24 blemishes that a kohen could have that disqualify him from working in the base of mikdash and the avoda, he was missing a limb or something of the sorts, so then the, pers- the B'nai Yisrael are not allowed. It's not based on responsibility, as, the, as Rashi said, but rather, Chizkuni says it's the Jew himself, it's his responsibility to make sure. Okay, that's it. Now, yeah, there's a lot of Chachma in there, but the real Chachma is going to come from your analysis, which I can't wait to read. Shalom.